I was interested in art um, in middle school, elementary and middle school, um, but it really didn't advance to a more sophisticated level until high school. And my teacher, um, she was awesome. She kind of uh, helped me, Claudia Kramer. She kind of really pushed me. She saw some talent and we just kept riding the wave. So it just, it worked out. So we're gonna make ourselves two columns. One column in that box is gonna be materials. And the other column is gonna be objects. Today we sort of set up our collage. We review what the objectives were for the lesson. And um, I passed out photographs that the students um, prepared for me in advance. And they started to figure out space. Um, we talked about positive and negative space. And so the goal was to kind of get the shapes moving in the composition so that they can think critically about where things are and why they're putting them there. I want them to be able to find things that they relate to. Um, you know, I found out last week, one of the first weeks of class, we found out who students were, what some of their likes and dislikes are, but the kids are only gonna tell you so much. And so I think with art, sometimes they'll put stuff in the work. I'm able to find out more about them with this collage project um, that they wouldn't normally verbally say to me. If you like to read the paper, or if you like news, just the lettering and the text of the news itself could be a nice background space. Um, to fill in. It's gray, it's consistent, so to make a nice visual texture, so you might want to consider that too. I think we're constantly trying to come up with a solution and what's nice about art, there isn't always a right answer and all answers aren't wrong either. And so I think they're learning that there's many solutions to things and that they can do a little bit of everything. That's cool, Bert. You gonna use it? Yeah. Well, I think, you know, this, type of environment with art is the differentiated learning. So some kids will learn, like I can have a sit down and have a conversation with a student and inspire them, you know, be one-on-one. -on -one. And then I could pull up an image on a computer and call the kid over, look at this. Um, I think you might benefit from that. So it's just recognizing those kids and what you're getting from them so that you know how to present it back to them. Oh yeah, there's a lot of students that we've had that have gone ahead and um, they graduated from here, probably worked some odd jobs while they were in college, but now I'm pursuing a career in illustration um, and digital media, um, working for um, companies like Pixar out in California. So there are definitely students that have come through and then moved on and um, are pursuing art as a career.